So, when's your birthday, Mott? In spring, of course. But when exactly? The 20th of April. Well, that's hard to say, isn't it? The 20th of April. When's my birthday? My birthday's on Halloween. That's the 31st of October. Yeah, maybe I was brought by the witches, yes. I thought I'd start today with a photograph. It's of a famous event in history. A little piece of history. 9-11? No, it's not 9-11. No, it's not the Titanic either. It's from the Olympic Games in Mexico in 1968. Are you done? Can I put it up? In the picture, there are three athletes on the podium. They were the winners of the men's 200 meters, Tommy Smith, Peter Norman, and John Carlos. Tommy Smith was first, Peter Norman was second, and John Carlos was third. But what's a little different about this picture? Tommy Smith and John Carlos have their arms in the air, right, Mott? and their heads are down, and they're both wearing a black glove. Like this. Why? Well, it's a long story. But in short, what they were saying was that black people and colored people should be treated the same as white people. You can read about it on Wikipedia, for instance. Anyway, that's how we say these kinds of numbers. First, second, third. After that, we add th to the number. So four becomes fourth. Five, fifth. That one's a little different. Six, sixth. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, etc. up to twentieth. And then we start again. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 31st, 32nd, 101st, 102nd, and so on. You're a smart bird. What's the seventh letter of the alphabet? G, right. And the 15th letter? O. Once again? O. And the fourth letter of the alphabet? D. Good. That's how I feel right now. Good. How do you feel? Good. Good. Now let's look at some dates. Now this is your birthday, Mott. And we can say this in different ways. Either the 20th of April, April the 20th, or April 20th. That's more American. And this is my birthday, which is Halloween. The 31st of October, October the 31st, or October 31st. You've got some pictures of famous dates in the calendar. Great, we can do a slideshow. That was the plan. Oh, I see. The 1st of January or January the 1st. That's New Year's Day. That's a holiday in most countries. The 25th of December, or December the 25th. That's Christmas Day. The 4th of July. That's Independence Day in America. The 14th of July. That's a national holiday in France. November the 5th, that's Guy Fawkes, or Bonfire Night. That's a night in Britain when people light fires and fireworks. The 25th of January, that's Burns Night. That's a special day in Scotland when people eat haggis. And then the next day, January the 26th, is Australia Day. 
that's Australia's national day. Do they eat kangaroo on Australia Day? I don't think so. It's an interesting idea, though. You could start a trend. Oh, I agree with you. I'm sorry, I wasn't being serious. You've got a new test for the viewers. Famous people's birthdays. Okay, we give them the dates and they have to say them aloud. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, let's start. How many, how many questions are there? Four. Okay. So here's the first picture. When is Pink's birthday? It's on September the 8th. And Barack Obama's? It's on August the 4th. And Arnie's? It's on July the 30th. And what about Serena Williams' birthday? It's on September the 26th. When is Steph's birthday? It's on the 28th of May. She's a Gemini. Yes, that's right. I won't forget her birthday. Don't worry, Maud. I never do. Yes, but it's time to go. And I need another cup of coffee. No, it's not my third cup. It's only my second. I know I do, Maud. Never mind. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.